Hey everybody, this is Ringmaster Jeffrey with Esports Circus. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. I'm asking you again to please like and subscribe this video. Please, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments to our guest, please do write them down and then I will forward them off to her. And she's a remarkable guest, Lauren Turton. How you doing, Lauren? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me today. It's an honor to connect with you. Thank you so much. And. I hear you have an amazing restaurant around the corner, right? I do. It's located in La Jolla. It's an uh -huh. Italian restaurant. It's called uh -huh. Ciao Ciao Piadina. And we're the first independently owned restaurant to drop an NFT project that generates our restaurant in real life sales. So explain what that means to the, some of the people who may not understand. People know that NFT is non-fundable tokens, and it's basically art pieces that you can invest in type of thing, right? Absolutely. And we wanted to bridge the gap with the program that we created. So we dropped this NFT project the last Sunday of October yeah. this year, and we had 30 people come out for the event. And what we informed them of was our roadmap, which is a five tiered system. Mm -hmm. Every time you come into Chow Chow Piadina and spend over $20, you get a po-op. On your sixth time coming in, you get an NFT airdrop to you that includes utility like a free appetizer on your next visit. Well, the band, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> and the first 20 people to go through this five-tiered reward system will get, for the rest of their life, 20% off their bill, a bottle of Prosecco during their birthday month, Ooh. monthly AMAs with me, and then an annual party for them, plus one, for the rest of their lives. So where is your restaurant in La Jolla? It's located on La Jolla Boulevard in Pearl. 510 Pearl Street. So we specialize in Piadina, which is an Italian flatbread that's mm -hmm. then filled with Italian meats and cheeses and local produce. We also have lasagna, eggplant parmesan, like amazing Italian food. Bella, bella. Right? Yes, and all my business partners are Italian. Oh, I am wow. the only American, so it is a legit Italian restaurant. So uh, I would say that kind of that kind of food mostly comes from like Bologna, right? You're very close. It's from the Emilia Romagna region. Yeah. One of our business partners, his name is Francesco Bernazzi. He's yeah. from Rimini, Italy. Okay, Rimini. That's that's near Bologna. Yes. Yeah, that's that's because I I know that kind of food is is really segmented to that that area of Italy. You know, it's 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 very it, Italy Italy is very segmented into different. Yes. The foods come from different parts in Italy, you know. Yes. You know Malfi is different than Bologna, Florence, and, you know. And all, the only places they really don't care are kind of like Venice and Rome, because Rome is just too big to have a food. Yes. And then Venice is just too too touristy to have a food, you know. But every other thing is really segmented to that. And it's Absolutely. Really, it's, really, it's really fun. That's great. And you were friends, we, we interviewed earlier. Right? Yes, Doc Peace. You're associated with her, right? Yes, yeah, so her and I have been friends for many, many years. And she was a former client of mine. I yeah. used to be a business coach. Okay. Earlier this year, I was featured in Forbes. I used to help clients package their exper expertise into a high ticket online offer, yeah. launch the offer, and then scale their business from there. And my business was going very well. As I said, I've been featured in Forbes and I found out about NFTs in June. And that's when everything went crazy. Yeah. I identified very quickly into my research and studying about NFTs that this is the next big thing. It is. It is Web3. It is. And I wanted to be at the forefront of it. I wanted to be a pioneer of it. Mm -hmm. I am the first independently owned restaurant to do that. Yeah. And when you think about that, that's insane. I'm not someone who's been deep in the tech space for a long time. Yeah. I am just someone who has taken action in the space. So there are so many opportunities to be at the forefront of this technology. Absolutely, it's and it's an amazing thing. I mean, it, it, it's just you, 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 it, it, you know, I like it a lot better than any crypto stuff because it's really it's something that actually exists. You know, crypto is kind of ethereal, ethereal. kind of out there. So what are you doing here? You're, you're supporting your friend, right? So I came out tonight because. Because I am exploring more uh -huh. in the esports world because I know that there's such a great parallel with what's happening in the NFT space mm -hmm. and the gaming space, esports, etc. So not only am I supporting my friend today, but I wanted to come out and see who I connected with, who I met with. I'm coming off of NFT NYC. I covered that event as press for my podcast, Freedom with NFTs. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow night, I'm taking a red eye to Miami because there are two NFT events taking place for Art Basel Week, NFT Basel and the Central Miami. So I'm With headed Gary out to- Gary Vee, right? Yeah, so I, I interviewed Gary Vee while I was in New York a few weeks ago yeah. for my podcast, Freedom with NFTs. That's very good. Yes. And did you get a, you get a stack of his books? I did. I bought 36 of his book, 12 and a half. 
If you don't know what this book is, 12 and a half, it's a book that you buy and you do something good with it. You give it away, you create some good with it, and then Gary rewards you by giving you an NFT. Now, you can't buy the book and get an NFT anymore. You can definitely buy the book and you should buy the book. It's a great book and do good with it, but you just don't get the NFT with it. But you never know. Gary could come back and say, you know what? Those I'm going to do a lottery. I think he said yes. Because he, he's, he's, he's done that before. He's gone back and said, I'm going to, you know, so many people bought the book after they missed that little introduction. I'm going to do a lottery and give a bunch of NFTs or we'll drop a couple of NFTs. So you never can tell. So you should buy the book regardless of doing good is a good thing to do, regardless of getting rewarded. You know? Exactly. I Absolutely. agree. It's a very, very exciting time in this space right now. As we were saying earlier, it's at the beginning of Web3. And for those of you that don't know, Web1 was when the internet came out. Web yeah. 2 was when social media came out, and we're in Web 3 right now, and the big difference about Web 3 is you can actually own your own data, yeah. and you can do that with NFTs. So it's really, really exciting. Again, we're at the beginning of it, so it's time to get informed and get involved. So how do we get in touch with you? So my Twitter is at Lauren Turton underscore L-A-U-R-E-N-T-U-R-T-O-N underscore. And right, my right. podcast is called Freedom with NFTs, and it's on all platforms. You should check that out, too. Remember to like and subscribe this video. Remember to put comments on there, and we'll get you in touch with Lauren, and she can answer your questions. And go visit her podcast again. Freedom with NFTs. Freedom with NFTs. I'm going to go check it out. I'm going to be subscribing to your podcast. Thank you. All right. Thank you for joining me. See you guys later. Bye-bye.